Welcome back to The Breakfast. And uh, just before the, well, I think this is what we can call the final lap of the conversations this morning, uh, we are now going to be talking about the federal government's uh, uh, statements and the FRSC declaring that the uh, NIN will now be a, a prerequisite and a must before vehicle registrations can be done in Nigeria from the second quarter of 2021. And uh, of course, also getting updates on the status of the third mainland bridge that is uh, going to also be shot down. We've invited this morning the FRSC Sector Commander, uh, Lagos State, Mr. Olushegun Ogunwemide, uh, to join us and have this conversation. Good morning. Thank you for your time. Thanks for joining us, sir. Good morning. All right. I'm going to start by asking the importance of the NIN with regards vehicle registration. In what ways, you know, you know is this important? And you know, how was it done in the past, you know, without the NIN? Um, thank you very much here. It's a very germane aspect of our uh, operation, or let me say, motor vehicle administration. In the past, what we normally do is, when you procure your vehicle, your, for you to get it registered, you assess the necessary portal, get across to the motor vehicle administration where all the necessary payments are made and uh, the requests are always made through the state. FRSC don't, uh, does not have direct relationship with the members of the public when it comes to procurement of driver's license and uh, number plates is always through the states. The states are clients of FRSC on behalf of members of the public. So we procure the driver's license and number plate for the states. So after the necessary payment and procurement, it gets through to the members of the public through their various states. And that has been the system. But with the exception of the introduction of NIM that just came to fall now, so, so, I mean, so what level of, you know, identification was used in the past um, that makes it, you know, now very relevant that, you know, the national identification number is, is you know, must be brought before vehicle registration? Um, they actually, we, we, we were almost putting up the same system in the past because FRIC has been very, very much sensitive to the issue of security all along. Uh, before you can procure a number plate, you must still have your necessary biometrics taken in the course of the procurement. And that has been the system, your capture, your address, your, your normal uh, printing, that's the necessary complete biometrics requirements are always got in the process of getting the driver's license and the number plate acquired. But what is making it different this time around is in, in line with the federal government's directive that all the database should be harmonized under the NIMS supervision to enhance security and other germane uh, issues that are so important to the entire national security architecture of Nigeria. And that is what is prompting the present regime. Okay, so right now you're saying the FRSC has, you know, had nothing to do with this. This is all government instruction you're acting on. But have we considered the controversy surrounding the NIN registration? Workers, you know, they're currently on strike. They're saying staff are contacting COVID-19. They're saying they're not getting paid. They're not getting promotion. And we don't know how long this strike will go on for. So don't you think this timing might be ill at this time? According to the directive of the commercial, Dr. Obokoyeyemi, it is not something that is taking effect immediately. That's, um, that's referring to the acquisition of the number plates now. It is the second quarter of this year, meaning maybe before the end of March, the blueprint has not really been released to the field, but he has made the categorical statement that if you don't have it before the second quarter of the year, there's, there might be necessity for all for you to, to, to find it difficult to procure your number plate. But I know, you know, we have a very sensitive and responsive government. If all this 
illogical costs that we are noticing in the recent time still persist. I'm very sure the, the, the system is not that rigid. They will look into it and take the necessary action. Okay, so um, information rich in us has confirmed that uh, the NIN strike has been called off, a strike by the N NIMC workers. So let's just hope that uh, within these next three months, Nigerians are able to actually register and, you know, get uh, their vehicle registration done with the NIN number. Yes, uh, absolutely. I, I believe they had uh, a meeting over the, well, sometime late last week and agreed that the strike would be called off uh, by Monday. Um, but let's still, still talking about this. You know, I, I, I want you know, um, don't know if you agree that all of this is to make the process uh, more stress free with getting your vehicle registered. Um, but is there a, a you know, you know, large number of unregistered vehicles currently plying Nigerian roads that the FRSC is aware of? Um, how often do you come across these type of vehicles and what do you think you know might need to be done in order to encourage more people to get their their vehicles registered um from what we the way we operate we have zero tolerance to their who's blind the road without being registered is an offense and it's captured under the frc uh, offenses that if you get your vehicle, it is expected that it's registered immediately. Because you all know what it means, apart from the security aspect of it. When a vehicle gets involved in a crash, maybe it's a run, it's very difficult to identify. That's talk less of those that get involved in crime. So the system does not permit running the highway or the road of Nigeria without getting your vehicle registered. So we have the we have limited number of people that fall into this category because our enforcement machinery does not have provision for that. So what we'll do is that when you are caught, you are sanctioned, the vehicle is impounded, you are not allowed to make any payment until that vehicle is registered after the necessary fines are going to be paid. And if by extension we still feel necessary, you can be prosecuted as going against the law of the land. So apart from dealers that also have their number page registered, no individual person is allowed to move or apply Nigeria Highway or Nigeria Roads without getting the vehicle registered within a specific time. How much, just before we move to talking about the third million bridge, how much does it cost currently to get vehicles registered in Nigeria? And will it be different when the NIN uh, directive comes into, into play? Registration of vehicles in Nigeria, like I said earlier, is not under the law. We only produce the number plates for the state. So it's the state that determines what it goes. So if you find it different from one state to the other, it could be maybe the documents that are acquired from different states. Or FRC does not have any rights to dictate how much procurement of driver's license goes and uh, number plate goes on. Mm. Okay. Let's now talk about the closure of the third Milan Bridge. The FRC has announced that it will be closed for two weeks from January uh, 12th to 27th. And the Nigerians would have been expecting that by now, you know, the third Milan Bridge would have been open to motorists. And uh, why, why the delay at this time? You are all very much aware of what would pass through towards the end of last year. The initial agreement with the contractor was for the road to get set before the end of January. That's a span of six months. But in the course of this, we had a series of discussions from COVID-19, which also ended up with um, NSAS that took almost two months away from this uh, process. So that is what gave the little delay that we are witnessing. And I'm very sure the entire nation are very much aware of the effort all the security agencies, the traffic management agencies are put in place to alleviate the pains of uh, motoring public. So I still want to plead that they will appreciate with us for the little delay that we experienced, which is actually open to all. So by virtue of the information we receive from the contractor, if there's no change, unexpected change in view, this might be rounding up before the end of February. 
All right. Okay. Thank you very right. much, Olushagu Ogungbemide, for your time on the breakfast this morning. Thank you. All right. And have a brilliant day at work. Hopefully, like you said, you know, there, there would be further discussions on whether there should be an extension, you know, with the time, because I'm yes. not expecting that the number of people who still need to get their national identity numbers will, you know, uh, be, be able to get them within that before the yeah, exactly. end of the first quarter. Yes. Uh, so um, hopefully there would be further discussions on the need to expand or to extend the time and give, uh, give uh, more time for people to get registered and, of course, to get their vehicles yes. registered. And, and, and for the, the, the closure, the further closure of the Third Midland Bridge, I do understand how much, you know, we hate it, you know, the traffic and all of that, but we must uh, be reminded that it's for our safety. You know, the bridge needs to be properly checked. There has to be repair works on it so that everybody, uh, you know, can be safe when they ply the roads. Absolutely. Still is a Monday morning, the 11th of January here on The Breakfast Plus TV Africa. We would be moving straight to talking about what's trending across social media with our in-house uh, social media expert, Bookie November, and that comes up next here on The Breakfast. Stay with us.